Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome to Posey Lane. If you're returning, I'm so glad you're back. I can't wait to start the crafts today. And if it's your first time here, I'm so glad you're here too. And at Posey Lane, we like to do fun, easy, doable crafts. You can subscribe for more crafting videos. Just in time for summer, I have four ocean themed crafts. The first one is going to be edible and we're making an ocean scene out of a graham cracker. The next one is wall decor that we're going to make out of a plate charger. The third one is also edible. And last week I made what I'm calling a themed party craft plate and so this week we're making a savory one and the last thing we're doing is dyeing sand for sand art Today we're making an ocean scene out of graham crackers, goldfish, candy, and cream cheese. And whenever I think about like cheesecake, I think about the Cheesecake Factory. I don't know about you, but there's always one kind of close, not too far away. And it's usually connected to a mall, but honestly I've only actually eaten or dined in like twice ever and the menu is always so huge I never know what to order. But if I'm going to make cheesecake really, I normally make it at home, but let me tell you a little secret. If you're craving that flavor of cheesecake but you want something quick and cheap, and simple, all you have to do is spread cream cheese on a graham cracker and it satisfies that craving. All the items are gonna be ready straight out of the box except for cream cheese. I let it sit out for a little bit so that it would soften and be easier to spread. And I'm going to just use some blue food coloring, just a couple drops to dye it so that it will look like ocean water. As I'm mixing this, you'll notice that it kind of has some swirls to it. And I'm going to leave some of that in here because I want it to look like real ocean water. I'm going to use a full sheet of graham cracker to build this and I'm just going to do a layer of the cream cheese on top. The blue cream cheese is going to act like glue to build everything on and it's also going to act like a background that's going to look like an ocean scene. You can kind of see these swirls I was talking about earlier and it kind of looks like the ocean. Not only is the graham cracker going to act as the base for everything, but I'm using some of this broken up and I'm just gonna crumble it to make it look like sand on the ocean floor. And I love when something has multiple purposes so you can reuse it more than once in your craft. I'm using a green sour belt and I'm gonna just cut it into strips to make it look like seaweed. I only need three or four strips and so I think one sour belt is going to be enough. I got these kitchen shears, made them dedicated solely for food last week, and I've used them so much. It makes it so much easier to do things. Honestly, I've never had kitchen shears before. I don't know why I haven't bought them until now. I cut the sour belts kind of wavy because I want them to look like real natural seaweed. I was looking for goldfish and I wanted to go with something sweet and there was a couple options and I chose s'mores because I'm making this craft and I love s'mores. The other thing I like about the s'mores is there's a couple different sizes and flavors. So there's a lot of variety in here, which looks really cute on this graham cracker. And my favorite thing are these tiny, can, I, can you see them? These tiny little marshmallows. I think they'll be so cute. I'm just gonna group them up together so that it looks like a school of fish. Everything we need to make the wall decor, I got at Hobby Lobby. They have a spring shop set up and they have these really cool plate chargers that have a lot of texture to them and I thought it would look great for wall decor. So we're gonna be using a plate charger as the base. And then I wanted to add greenery or something to it, but I wanted it to kind of be neutral. And if you think about green, green is neutral without being neutral. I don't know if you know this, they have this special trademark green called Disney green. They'll paint it green so your eyes don't notice it. Whenever I have something that's gonna be kind of flat and I'm gonna be arranging it, I like to sketch it out to see where it's gonna, everything's gonna be placed. One reason I like to do this is because I'm using more expensive materials that I can't really practice with. And also I'm gonna be using hot glue, which is permanent. So once I put it down, it's gonna stay wherever I put it. I'm drawing a circle just to represent the plate charger. And then on the right, I'm going to add the greenery. I want it to be asymmetrical. And I'm thinking of putting the greenery towards the middle and maybe a little bit towards the top. And then I'm gonna add the shells on the bottom. I'm gonna have them layered and I want them over the stems to kind of cover those stems up. If you notice, I'm doing really simple shapes as I'm sketching because it helps me get a good picture. It doesn't have to be perfect the way you draw it.
I love how all this all turned out. I made sure to use different types of shells. I used some that have more like swirls and some sand dollars and some that are fan shaped. I think this looks so close to the sketch. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Next, we're making what here on Pussy Lane we're calling a themed party craft plate. And last week we made a sweet one that we arranged into flowers. And this week we're making a savory one that's going to look like an ocean scene. Think charcuterie board, but crafty. These are all the foods that I'm going to be using and transforming into an ocean scene. I have some goldfish. These are just the classic goldfish and everything but the bagel seasoning. And then some cream cheese that I've let sit out and green onions celery, and some mushrooms. And these are the foods I'm using, but just be inspired by this to get ideas and do what you want to do, what you're going to snack on. I forgot to say that we're going to be using some pepperonis too. And now that we've got everything together, let's set it aside and get started. I found this blue plate at Target for only 75 cents and I got it because, hello, it looks just like the ocean. It will be great for the background. The first thing I'm going to do is spread this cream cheese out and just do it in a little bit on the bottom to act like the ocean floor. I'm using everything bagel seasoning. I know this is so trendy. You see it on all kinds of things. They're now flavored with the everything bagel seasoning. I think I even saw mixed nuts. I find mine usually at Aldi or Trader Joe's. And I think the texture of the little granules will be perfect to look like sand. Now that we've got our sand down, I'm going to use one of these pepperonis and cut it into a fan shape so it looks like a shell. We need seaweed for our ocean scene. I'm just gonna cut a couple of these stalks off to look like the seaweed. I think this is what I'm the most excited about. I noticed that if I just pull the stem out of here, you can kind of notice, can you see down in here, it reminds me of brain coral. I'm just gonna cut it into thin slices so it will lay flat on our sand. reasons why we're using celery is I know most people put peanut butter on celery but if you haven't had celery with cream cheese you're missing out it's so good just so the same with a mushroom if you kind of see when we cut it it's gonna look like a u-shape and look like coral I think this turned out so good. And as a final touch, I'm just adding these goldfish. My plan would be if I was using this for like a party or get together, I would probably use it as a centerpiece around all the different snacks. We're gonna be dyeing our own sand for sand art. And the first time I ever made sand art was at the Eggleston Festival of Trees when I was little in like the 80s and 90s. Let me say this, I'm from Atlanta and there was always this special festival of trees where there were competitions for decorating Christmas trees and gingerbread houses. And it always helped sponsor the local children's hospital. They also had crafts that the kids could make. And so one year the craft that we got to make was sand art. And it's so childlike making sand art, but I feel like it's for kids from ages four to 104. I'm dyeing my own sand and having you guys come along with me to dye it because I'm starting to just want to figure out things that I can dye myself. And you can get a whole like 50 pound bag of sand for less than $4. To keep with the ocean theme, we're also going to add some little shells to the front and I think it's going to turn out so pretty. We're going to be dyeing the sand for sand art and I've already prepared most of the colors ahead of time, but I saved one color to dye with you. I have one cup of sand in here. It normally comes wet and you're going to need to let it dry before before you can start dyeing it. And I wanna warn you, we've dyed a lot of things before and it didn't take that much dye, but with this, for some reason, sand needs a lot of food coloring to dye it. I'm actually gonna to have to use 24 drops of this red to get the color I'm wanting. Now 
now that I've mixed it and got the color I wanted, I've put it in a thin layer on this plate so that it can dry overnight. I do want to note it looks darker when it's wet and it looks lighter once it's dry. And here are the other colors of sand and we're going to be putting it in a mason jar and I have some seashells to add to the front. And then we're going to be using a skewer just to kind of add a little bit of a swirl to it and fun design. We're gonna attach the shells to the outside of the jar and I don't want to mess up the design so we're gonna put them on first. I'm about to take the lid off and I'm just gonna pour the different colors in here and alternate them in different layers. I like having a wide mouth jar like this because you don't have to use a funnel. I can just use baggies and get it in. After I finish each layer, I'm going to kind of level it out by shaking it. I put all the sand in now and I'm going to run the skewer down the side of the jar to give it a cool swirl effect. Color combination actually came out a lot better than I thought I was going to. I'm so happy with the results. I had so much fun making all these ocean themed crafts today. Honestly, my family has already confiscated the sweet and savory ocean scenes I made, so I don't have them here to show you, but I'm so happy with this wall decor. I actually have a place in mind that I'm already gonna put it, and it's gonna look so pretty. With the sand art, honestly, I had so much fun making this. It brought back so many memories. I can't wait to set this out because I think this looks so pretty with these muted tones. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on Posey Lane. I had so much fun, and I look forward to crafting with you again. Thank you.